Thank you for coming this morning. I appreciate all the, uh, the support and uh, I'd like to see all the guys from the shift and certainly our friends in law enforcement and throughout city because we are a family here in the city of St. Louis Park and it's good to see so many people share in this tradition. So today we're gonna to be bringing on a new, a new firefighter to our, to our family and uh, I'm pretty excited about that because I've met this, this young man several times and he has struck me as being just the perfect fit for the culture that we're trying to, to kind of manage and grow here in the city of St. Louis Park. And so we're excited to have him on board. We're gonna get this process going because I know he's excited to get working with his shift and, uh, and becoming a firefighter. So Brian, so Brian Oberschmidt, he grew up in the South Metro and now lives in Stillwater with his wife, Heather, and son, JT, who will be two in August. Brian joined the Marine Corps after high school and spent 12 years in active duty. During his 12 years in the Marines, he was an infantry squad leader and did combat deployments in Iraq and Afghanistan. Brian says that joining the fire service allows him to continue serving the community and to help people when they need it most. Brian enjoys spending time with his family. He's finishing his bachelor's degree and volunteers as a youth enrichment counselor for the, for the Hale Q. Brown Center in St. Paul. Brian, if you wanna come forward, that'd be great. Brian, these items that we present you today are functional components of your uniform, and just as important as they are symbolic, steeped in years of tradition within this great fire service. In the city of St. Louis Park, we also recognize traditions and rituals as a component of our culture. The helmet, which Chief Smith will present to you. The helmet Although part of our protective equipment ensemble, the fire helmet is the most recognized symbol of the fire department. It will protect you from the elements of nature as well as the cruel and punishing exposures you will face during response. The history of its design, which dates back to the early 1800s, the shape, the materials it's made from, and its golden eagle, all are as storied as we hope your career here is in St. Louis Park. The nameplate, we're always in the public eye and must understand that the importance of that accountability, your name and its attachment to this organization represents our commitment in you and yours to us. Be accountable for your actions and understand that more people than you know will know that you're a firefighter and work for this great city. And finally, your badge, and I'd like Heather to come forward. The badge that we present you as we present you with this badge, understand that this badge is your permanent badge. The badge and its number 155 are yours alone. And throughout your career here, whatever your legacy, that number will be tied to you. The badge has always been a symbol of authority. However, that comes with responsibility to its wearer to bring honor to themselves, to the organization, through unparalleled service and ethical behavior. At this time, I'd like our city clerk to come forward and do the swearing in. Move a little bit closer to the mic so they can hear you. Thank you. All right, so if you could raise your right hand and repeat after me, please. I, Brian Oberschmidt. I, Brian Oberschmidt. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And of the state of Minnesota. And of the state of Minnesota. And faithfully discharge. And faithfully discharge. The duties of the office of firefighter. The duties of office of firefighter. Of the city of St. Louis Park. Of the city of St. Louis Park. In the county of Hennepin. In the county of Hennepin. And the state of Minnesota. And the state of Minnesota. To the best of my judgment and ability. To the best of my judgment and ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Brian, the last token of our appreciation is um, something that we hold very true to our hearts, and that's our challenge coin. The challenge coin is a representative token of belonging to a family, to be membership into a specific group of, of, uh, of people who serve. This dates back to the Revolutionary War when, when people were trying to, you know, connect with and understand whose side people were on. So when we present this challenge coin to you, it signifies that you now are part of our family. I personally give you my challenge coin as a token of, of my support for you and welcome you to the organization.
Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Brian, welcome to our family. It's our hope that you enjoy this journey as much as we do and that whatever your contributions, it will bring pride to the city of St. Louis Park, your family, and you personally. Be safe and welcome aboard. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Overschmidt. Thank you for joining us this morning. Feel free to drink coffee, eat carbohydrates, and uh, take in as much as you want. Take a tray with you if you'd like.